Hi, this is Anne with what I hope is a real quick anagram on how to um, do some of the tasks in this in this task for week seven. Um, the idea is to turn a rather dull set of three and a half circles into a random set of 20 circles. And um, I seem to have really thrown people with my directions. So let's see if we can fix that. Um, you're given some code. Um, you're given starting code and you're given what the ending code should look like. And your job is to um, write these functions to get a random color, get a random size, and get a random point, which gives you exercise in returning a string, a number, and an object. So um, let's take a look at the directions for this random circles um, ran and random get random color. Um, I thought this would be simple because you guys already know how to pick a random word out of an array. We did that with phrasematic and insultomatic, but clearly it's not. So let me show you how I would probably proceed with this if I was coding it. <clears throat> um, Here's your starter code. And there are two ways to proceed with this. One would be to um, write a function that got the random color right away. And the other would be to write a function that returns some color. And I kind of like the, that approach. So we have a section in here where we're supposed to add any new functions into this area in the code. And we're told what our function name should be. So let's just grab that off the slide and come over here and create a function called get random color. And it has no arguments and it is supposed to return a random color. But for our first version, let's just have it return some color. So um, we know from the link in the slides that one way to specify colors for HTML pages we can use these hex numbers, um, but we can also use these. So let's just pick something that's kind of alarming, like dark magenta, and come over here and say, color is a string. Um, so var color equals um, dark magenta. That's a string. And then let's return color. Because that's how we, when we call a function, if it's supposed to give us a value back, it has to have a return statement. Since this function is supposed to return a string, let's just have it return this string color. Now, we've seen from the slide that the ending code is supposed to look like this. So let's just move along and make it look a little bit more like that. Down here, <clears throat> above our loop, let's declare a variable since it will eventually be random. Okay. And right down here before we draw the circle, let's call get random color. So we have a variable that we're going to use for the color. We want to assign to it the results of get random color. And then instead of my cornflower blue that I like, make sure that when you replace this, you don't put your variable name inside parenthesis, inside the quotation marks. We just put the random color there. And if we run that page, oh, right, everybody do this to themselves? Can't run the JavaScript, have to run the page. So if I run that page, and I shift refresh to make sure I'm getting my new JavaScript, I have magenta circles. If I come back to my code and I change this to dark orange, I save it, control S. I come over here and I shift refresh and I can see that this function is returning a string and that string is getting assigned random color and random color is getting used when I draw my circles. Now, the trick is we want it to be a random color. And the reason I thought that this would be fairly simple for people is that colors 
if we use this format of the color, is just a string. And you guys already wrote rather complicated code to, um, to get random words out of an array of strings. So um, since I believe in never typing in new code if I don't have to, let me just grab this array um, from my Insultimatic solution. And I come over here. Um, I told you in the slide that color list should probably be a global variable. Frankly, um, your list of colors can either be a global variable outside this function or it could be inside this function. Both will work. And at this stage, um, it might actually be simpler for you to put it inside so it's really clear that the that all of the colors are coming from outside, from inside this function and being returned. So let's just make some bright colors. Dark orange, dark magenta, navy. Um, and that's good enough for now. Let's just have three. Okay. And again, if we look back at our insultimatic code, we know how to get a random in index into that list. It looks kind of complicated, but we've used it before. So if I do this down here, and I call it random index because it's an index into the list, and instead of words one, the array I have here is color list. Okay, so this says, Find a random number from zero to not including one. Multiply that by the list of the length of the list. That'll give you a decimal number. Floor will give you an integer between zero, one, and two. That's your random index. And then instead of a fixed value here, we just index into the array. Okay. Again, that's not in quotes, it's a variable name. So this now, same name, returns the same variable. Don't have to change anything down here, but now each time we call it, we should get one of these three colors. So I'm gonna save my file. I'm gonna come over here and shift refresh. And now you can see I'm getting two magentas and an orange. Um, if I change this to be 20, uh, well, probably only five we're going to figure out. So let's do five there. No use doing 20 till we have random locations. And now you can see that I'm getting, every time I refresh this, I'm getting a different combination of colors. Um, not very entertaining because I only have these three, but that should give you, uh, you know, your approach. What you'll note is if you move this color list inside the function, it'll work equally well. And that may make more sense to you that everything having to do with this color list is now inside. So let's add something like yellow. And I don't know, brown. Okay. And come back over here and now we're getting a different set of random colors each time we hit refresh. Hope that helps.